I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this version, there are links in the video description below so that you can learn how to play. The rules have been modified so that two players can play two hands at one time. No Charleston. You hit the ground running with the tiles that you're dealt. In this exercise, we're going to pre-select categories and force hands only in those categories. This is a great exercise to force yourself to play hands that you might not normally think about. It's also an excellent exercise in preparation for playing in a tournament because a lot of times they have prizes. Prizes for the first hand in every category on the card. Sometimes they even pick a specific hand. This exercise can prepare you and you could come home with a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine if we're player one or player two. Odd will be player one, even will be player two. I rolled an even, we're going to be player two. 28 tiles. All right, we have one flower, so I don't think I would play addition. We do have fives. Here's a five, six, or five, six, five, six, eleven. I suppose we might be able to do that. And then it would be nice to use these. Let's see here if we could use those in a hand. Don't think we could do that with wins, though, in this case. Five, six, five, six, dragon. We need this down here if we're going to play an addition hand. Consecutive run, five, six, dragon. And then five, six, eleven, joker bait, joker bait discards. Ten discards with joker bait. Five, six j dragons. This would be a flower in here, maybe. We need flowers here and here. That's the challenge. Five, six, eleven. Mixed suits. If we had a three dot, we could do three dot, six bam, nine dot, dragon. Or I suppose three crack just as easily. Maybe hold these as an option. So three, six, nine either dots or cracks with these, the knitted hand, that would be third hand down, but that's three, six, nine. That's not up here. Never mind. We're forcing hands. So we're playing consecutive and addition. I think that's what I would do. Consecutive and addition. These will take a lot of work. One joker, so I don't think I would play a quint. No white dragon, so I wouldn't play a year. Two, four, six, eight. The only multiples we have are with sixes. Odds. 
we could maybe do one, three, three, five, two suits, but we have only one joker. I think this is the best use of the multiples, joker bait. I just saw something. Odds. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. That hand is actually set. We're going to pull back. Let's see if we can do something different now because that kind of depletes this we could do 11 6 5 6 we're using the 5 here 5 7 okay so see it really depletes this down here let's see 3 4 5 with sixes. Joker bait, joker bait. Discard. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. Three, four, five with sixes. This would be the concealed hand. Or no. This would be fourth hand down. Three, four, five with Kongs of sixes. It's pretty light though. But we would have Joker bait here and here. Discards. I think that's better because this is a winner. The other way, I don't know. Those would have taken a lot of work. No gaps here. Consecutive run odds let me know what you think about that switch consecutive run in odds this hand could be a winner right here pung pung kong ready to win this one will take work we need pairs we need to build up and kong Ooh, that was hard I rolled an 11, that's an odd number. So we're going to be player one. We have jokers, pair of white dragons, lots of cracks with a pair of fives, lots of dots with a kong of nines, just two little bams. I think what I would do is a quint and an addition hand, even though we have no flowers. We could maybe do a two, four, six, eight instead, a quint with nines and two, four, six, eight. Quint here, Kong here, Quint here. Like number Quint with dragons. If we get a seven dot, we could do seven, eight, nine with dragons. Maybe that would even be better because we can use these for the seven. I would hold this as an option and that too. This would be joker bait. So I think a quint, either seven, eight, nine with dragons, 
third one down, or like numbers with nines in the green dragon. Down here, I think I might try two, four, six, eight pair hand if we can get some flowers. I would just gather two, four, six, eight and make it work. We could maybe do two, four, six, eight, eight. We, that's why this would be good. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong suit. We need an eight bam. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. This is the second from the bottom. I think we have options. Let's do this. Quint with nines. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. Or two, four, six, eight, eight. We need eight bam. Or we could do two, four, six, eight pair hand if we get flowers. In any of those, we'd never use these. I would say those are probably discards. Joker bait. Quint with nines. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. Or two, four, six with eight, eight. So really, we didn't use these either. A pair hand is possible, but that's not on here. We're, we're forcing hands in these categories. Quint and 2468, Joker Bait. Those both will take some work, but there's no gaps for either one. Just got to build up, build up the multiples. I rolled a five, so we're going to be player one. 28 tiles. Okay, we have to make a year hand work and an addition hand work. We have no flowers. Oh, no flowers and no jokers. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a challenge. We do have fives though. <laughs> so five, five, eight, five, seven, and five, six. Five, six, five, eight. We have a three. Okay. <laughs> so let's see here. Well, let's look at a year hand and see what else we can do. We do have dragons. We have year tiles. <laughs> There's our year hand. Okay. So year with dragons. No flowers. We need flowers. Then down here, joker bait. Joker bait. Five, five, seven, five, eight, five, six, eight, six, eight. Discard. Well, maybe. We need these here, maybe. Let's see. So this is all Joker bait. Joker bait. Discards. Now. This right here is where we start. We don't need the fives because we have fives. We could do five, six, eleven. We have no ones except right here, which we're already using. So I don't think I would use sixes. I think I would give up the six because we need a pair of ones for the sixes. So we have five, eight, three. 13, 5, 8, 13, 5, 8, 13, 5, 7, 12, discard, Five, eight, thirteen, 
5, 8, 13, 5, 7, 12, 12. So those are the options. One suit, mixed suit, mixed suit with sevens. We need flowers badly, but we have joker bait. And you can use jokers with the flowers for the addition. Here we need a pair, and we need more dragons. These would all be discards. These would be joker bait. This is going to take a lot of work, but the potential is there. Year and edition. Let me know what you think about this goose chase. Look at that. That's going to take a lot of work. We have joker bait. Silver lining. If you're getting ready to play in a tournament and you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. Force yourself to play hands in pre-selected categories. When you go to that tournament and they have prizes for the first hand in every category or maybe a specific hand, you'll have trained yourself to force hands. It's doable. American Mahjong is very flexible. You just have to make the right decisions at the right time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.